everyone, welcome to another video. Today I have this WinChef saute pan. So this is a Grablon nonstick coating, which is essentially a ceramic nonstick coating. So it comes in this box. This is a 5.5 quart uh, size. It comes with a lid. It also has a uh, 12 inch diameter. So it's a fairly large size, um, but it comes fairly large size pan, but it comes in this uh, compact box because you do have to attach the handle. So all you need is a Phillips screwdriver to do that. All right, it comes wrapped up like this. So let's go ahead and pop that film. Comes with this shipping sort of protector. You can take that off. Put that to the side. This is the actual wooden handle. The cool thing about this handle is the silicone actually changes colors when it gets over 140 degrees warm, uh, 150 degrees Fahrenheit warm. So, and then there's this one single bolt or screw that holds it together. So let's kind of take that out. We're gonna put it together. So before you use, you do wanna wash it, you know, before first use. So for now, I'm just gonna go and put the handle together here. So there's a, hand, a screw here. So I guess this is, just a backup screw. Yep. So in case you lose um, the screw it shipped with, you have a second screw here. So you're gonna take that off. You're just gonna slide that in and tip it over. And then we're just gonna drop the screw in here. It's just a Phillips head, so all you need is a Phillips head screwdriver. it and now it's all set together so this is what it looks like as you can see there are pour spouts on both sides if you're pouring uh, whatever um, you cooked out of there and uh, the finish has this little black um, red and dark brown specks on it uh, from the coating again this is a dual layer ceramic coating on the back the actual pan itself is made out of uh, an aluminum uh, metal and as you can see, you can use it on electric gas, um, any type of uh, um, any type of gas stove or uh, electric stove um, or a flat top. So let's go ahead and rinse it off and use it for the first time. Because it has this uh, ceramic coating, it's free of PFOAs and other uh, toxins and contaminants. It is stain resistant. The handle is nice and grippy. Uh, it feels uh, sturdy in the hand and you can see there's a finger um, um, gro groves here so that you don't have the pan slipping out of your hands. On the bottom, it's got this nice design around it, which is kind of cool. If you look at it from the side, you can see that uh, those grooves make it, give it a nice uh, design to it as well. Uh, because it's made out of aluminum, it's actually pretty lightweight. It's not a heavy um, uh, pan by any means. Uh, the um, hand, so this uh, top, you actually unscrew the top right, like so because it's uh, installed the wrong way for shipping. And then you're gonna take that out, flip it over, and then put this back on on the other side. So just for shipping, they've kind of put it on the wrong side. And then you can use your screwdriver to tighten it all the way so it doesn't spin. That's it. There is a little warning label here. You can actually take that off before you cook so it doesn't stick on. But essentially the warning says, uh, don't, don't, don't put this in the oven. So this lid has a, a um, silicone siding here to create a nice uh, seal with the edges. So as you can see, it falls right in, uh, creates a nice seal so things don't splash out. And uh, it does have that Twin Chef logo on there. Uh, it is a nice soft silicone that matches exactly with the color of the pan itself. So before first use, you're gonna wash it with soap and water, which I've already done. Then you're gonna put some oil. You're gonna use a sponge or a brush to evenly spread it around. You wanna get it throughout the cooking surface. Naturally, um, let's go and make sure some of the side surface too. Once you feel like you've covered all of the surface with the oil, you can um, heat the pan 
on the stove for about three minutes. So this oil will actually get absorbed over the next three minutes. And as it gets absorbed, it's gonna make the nonstick coating better. And then you're gonna just remove the excess oil with a paper towel and your pan is ready to use. The directions are in the box itself. Once it's uh, heated, you can just pour the oil away. So I poured it away in the sink and then you can just wipe off the excess. So you can see some oil that came onto the paper towel. And now your pan is ready to use and the coating should last a long time. You can even do this process again after a few uses if you want to, to maintain the nonstick coating. Okay, to begin with, we're gonna go ahead and turn on the gas. I've rinsed it off. So before you use, you do wanna uh, wash it with some soap and water. I've cleaned it off. We're gonna just cook some uh, paratha in there. And then I have this uh, egg mixture, which kind of makes uh, a kind of omelet looking thing. But uh, what I'm making is egg cotti rolls, which is like a layer of egg and some vegetables with some uh, mint and uh, chili chutney uh, wrapped up in a paratha. So this is just a frozen paratha. We're gonna, um, I have put no oil or anything like that. So we're gonna see how it cooks. I have the gas on high, so we're gonna turn it down a little bit. Paratha is like a Indian tortilla, it's a type of bread. Uh, as we're cooking and the pan turns warmer, you can see the edge turning white. So the silicone part actually goes from red to white as the pan becomes 150 Fahrenheit or warmer. As you can see, this is all essentially completely white now as, it, um, as the pan warmed up, but the handle is actually room temperature, no, no temperature um, transference there, so that's pretty cool. So this is essentially done cooking. I didn't add any oil to it. I put a frozen essentially dough in there and it cooked just fine without any oil. So nonstick of course works well. Okay, so I'm actually gonna try to cook my eggs without oil and see how it goes because it is a new nonstick. So it'll be a good way to test it out. So this is eggs with some uh, green chilies, onions and cilantro. We don't really care about the shape. I mean, in general, a circular shape is fine, but I'm just gonna let it cook, whatever shape it cooks in. I'm gonna just leave it on a lower heat temperature and cover it up with this lid. And as, as you can see, it's starting to steam up. I left it covered with the lid for about a minute and as you can see it's mostly cooked so let's go ahead and see as you can see without any oil it's completely non-stick flipping super easily so that was that didn't even require any oil to cook eggs so you know this non-stick works really well and so that's done cooking let's go ahead and uh, make our setting second one and same thing this time no oil we do have we did see some brown spots from cooking first time uh, so stuff does stick of course as your onions or whatever gets sauteed but as you can see it slides off pretty easy so just gonna keep it on low temperature again and keep it covered I'm super happy with this pan it's large yet lightweight really easy to clean really easy to uh, use as you can see I was able to make it without having anything stick really um, I like the pattern I like how nice the handle is to hold uh, and the lid super nice that's it for this video if you enjoyed this video give me a thumbs up if you have any questions leave it in the comment section below otherwise I'll see you in the next one